guys, my name is Jake, or Disciple, and uh, I'm bringing you a commentary after I don't know how long it's been. It's been it's been a while since I've been brought you an actual video, something like four months, or I don't know, something crazy like that. I think four months, actually. But, um, yeah, I, hopefully I'm somewhat back. Uh, it's been a while. I'm actually on fall break right now. That's why I'm, I got some downtime. I just finished up midterms, and uh, so I'm just kind of relaxed. Uh, me and my buddy, we were just we hopped on Black Ops and just decided to screw around. So I'm running around with just a ballistic knife um, <laughs> because I was playing just with a gun and I was, you know, going like 90 and 3, 90 and 5, you know, 80 and 8, you know, just scores like that with like an AK or Galil or whatever. And I just I thought I'd mix it up and try to get a decent, you know, gameplay with something out of the ordinary. So I threw on the knife. Oh, hold on, right here. Yeah, just watch watch the feed. One, two. Three, four, qua. No, I'm not gonna do it because my operator parry impression's terrible. But <laughs> anyway, um, I get another one actually later. But anyway, I want to actually get into the topic. But hopefully, I'm back. This is just some gameplay screwing around. I think it, the final score is 41 and 10. In case I don't pull up the scoreboard. Um, so yeah, it's a decent game with just using the um, using the knife and crappy kill streaks. I was I was just kind of trolling with the, <laughs> with the kill streaks here, but. Uh, and my buddy was just running around with a sniper, so... Uh, but anyway, so what I wanted to talk about was, um, while I was, while I'm in school, uh, I didn't keep up with YouTube very much, right? Because, uh, honestly, I just, I didn't have time, so I, I would watch, I don't know, maybe three to five videos a week, you know, as opposed to, like, three to five a day. And, which I, I don't do even when I'm, um, on downtime anymore. Uh, I don't watch that much YouTube, but uh, people I always followed were uh, the two commentators I mainly followed on YouTube were uh, Wings of Redemption and um, and uh, Xcal because I just I've always liked Xcal and Wings. Um, Wings is I've always enjoyed Wings's content. I think he's one of the most consistent people on YouTube, as with Xcal, uh, with his uploading and the quality of his videos. Um, and I've played with Wings. I'm not going to say a lot, but I mean I've. I was on, I don't know, one of his podcasts he did with Redneck. I was on that one time, and I've played a, quite a bit of Battlefield and a little bit of Call of Duty with him. So, I mean, I've talked to the guy. I know him, uh, I mean, a lot more than, than I guess a lot of people do. But um, but the reason I bring that up is because he is actually one, the person I wanted to talk to about. Not necessarily him directly, but he kind of inspired me to make this uh and because I didn't watch a lot of YouTube for a while, I went kind of back on on some of the people's videos that I watched and was kind of backtracking their videos and the stuff that I missed. And one of the videos I had missed from Wings happened to be something called, like, Creative Design or something like that. I don't even remember the title because it's been, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. So it's been a little while, but I tried to watch that video, and I ended up clicking off of it, not because I was offended or anything like that, not at all. Um, even though I do identify myself as a Christian, but that's not the point. My point is, um, is being ignorant on a topic. For example, he was completely ignorant on what he was talking about. He was trying to use talk about biology in his um, in his discussion on why he doesn't believe in in essentially creative design, and. And I, you know, people taking, you know, science or biology or, or facts or whatever I, to support their, their beliefs, that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> I do the same exact thing. So I'm not, I'm not downing for him for that. What I am downing him for is being completely ignorant on the subject in which he was attempting to talk about. Because, frankly, he was talking about one of the things he brought up was a flagella. Um... I think he called it a flagellum or something like that, but it's a flagella. So if any of you guys don't know, I'm currently a biology major in college, so I know more about this than the average person, right? This is what I'm going to do for a living. You know, I'm going to go into medicine, so I need to know about this. Therefore, I'm not as ignorant about the subject as the majority of the populace. But I think what I really wanted to talk about, and I just use Wings as an example because I thought maybe this is something that you guys can relate to or somebody that you can, that you know that you can relate to. 
is ignorance as a whole. And I think a lot of people think of ignorance in a negative connotation when in fact it is probably the most neutral adjective in the world because it's not positive and it's it's not negative even though most people think it is. Um, most people think of ignorant as synonymous with the word stupid when in fact ignorant is just a lack of knowledge and stupid, the way I define it, is a blatant disregard for knowledge. There's a complete difference. For example, we'll go back to Wings. Wings knows a lot about cars, a whole heck of a lot more than I do because if somebody were to ask me about a car, I couldn't tell you the first thing about a car. That's something I'm ignorant in, and I'm fully going to admit that I'm ignorant in it. I'm not going to try to pretend that I know something about uh, cars, like how to fix them or whatever, when in fact I have no idea, none whatsoever. I'm not saying I couldn't learn, because like just like anybody, I could pick something up and, you know, if I put the time and effort into it and learn it, and then I could say, oh yeah, you know, your alternator's going out or something like that. You know, oh, <laughs> I get the... RC car with a ballistic knife. I thought that was cool, but um, <laughs> I got off off topic there a little bit. But that's just kind of I don't know. That that video really rubbed me the wrong way, and not not because what he was talking about. Like I said, just the fact that he was blatantly ignorant, but trying to trying to push off what he was saying as facts without truly diving into dri uh, diving into the actual facts and knowing what he was talking about. And, you know, being ignorant, like I said, isn't a bad thing at all. For example, you can go, um, if you want to read something that's re a really good example of ignorance, read Know Thyself. It's actually written by Plato, and it's in regards to, oh, another clock, sorry, and it's in regards to Socrates. And if any of you guys don't know who Socrates is, I'm not talking about the old YouTube commentator, I'm talking about the, um, the really <laughs> dated, uh, Greek philosopher, um, and essentially, what Socrates um, was is he—he he was a philosopher back in ancient Greece, and essentially he was put on trial for not believing in the Greek deities, so not believing in Zeus, Ares, you know, etc. He essentially didn't believe in God. He believed, or the gods. He believed in trying to f search for knowledge and and gain knowledge, and that was his answer to the mysteries of the universe, which is which is fine. That worked for him, but he was put on trial for that, and. And he, the the way he defended himself was by making, essentially making a fool out of, like, politicians and carpenters saying that everybody is ignorant in a certain area, and it's not a bad thing. The thing about ignorance is that you need to know that you're ignorant in an area and not try to push off yourself as some, as some expert in this area. It's, if you know your ignorance, then it's not a fault, and, in fact... It can make you know yourself better by knowing that you don't know something. And I'll leave you with that tongue twister, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm out. See you later.